Hello, wonderful people of the internet. You may be wondering why you can't see my face and why I'm speaking really close to the microphone. Well, today we are reviewing... There goes R2-D2. Lego! Yeah. Uh, this is what the new Force Awakens set, because today I went out and brought loads of Force Awakens things, including this lightsaber. I basically, I went and found the cheapest options for Force Awakens. I haven't brought any big sets or anything yet. This is the first Lego Star Wars set I've got. But it looks pretty cool, so let's look at the box and things. Look, it's 7 to 12, an age I surpass by many years. And, um, yeah, you can see it in action. There's too many figures in the set. Ray and Unkar's Thug. Don't know who that is. Could be anyone. Um, so yeah, there's all that. On the back, it's got Ray and Dave, uh, having a little fight there. Interesting yellow crowbar piece, which you can see with all the accessories it comes with. Um, and you can see all the play features and stuff, which we will go into later. But now, time lapse! <laughs> So, uh, this is the completed model, and, um, it's rather nice, actually. It's very got much got that Magnum Classic shape that the, uh, Speeder had in the trailer, and from what we've seen of it. Um, as you can see, it's got little things you can keep all your weaponry on and stuff over there. Um, yeah, it's a nice little thing, this, and for 20 quid, very much worth it. Uh, it's got more features than that, obviously, you can keep your gaffy stick up there. And then if you turn this bottom engine down here, you will see the, uh, door springs open. It doesn't spring open all the way, unfortunately, only that far. But that allows you to put in, or get out, depending on what order you, uh, do it, this tiny little crate. There you go. Which, uh, you can keep some of the missiles that you get in there. Um, yeah, it comes with these little missile launcher things. Stud shooters. That's the name. Um, on the side, there and there, I've already fired one, as you can see. There we go, killed Yoda. Uh, um, they're pretty powerful. Um, you're able to knock over another Lego figure quite easily. Uh, if you can get the aiming right, obviously. Um, and, yeah, I'm not a fan, personally. I just seem to lose them everywhere. Anyway, yeah, I really like this. Comes with an awful lot of stickers, though. You wouldn't have seen that in time-lapse, because I did them afterwards, but... There's an empty sticker sheet. I hate stickers, mainly because I can't put them on properly. So, yeah, lots of stickers here. There, 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 there. Obviously, same around the other side, uh, on the tail fin things, and cockpit. I don't know, they add detail, but when it comes down to it, not a fan of stickers. Um, so yeah, it's a nice little model, and for 19.99, it is definitely worth it. Um, it's actually a surprisingly big thing. I didn't think it would be that big, but it is, if you compare it to a little minifigure, it's a bit out of scale, I would say. It's a bit bigger than it should be. But, um, yeah. Anyway, let's have a look at some minifigures. So, this is the first figure, Ray. Uh, no surname given. Which, uh, makes you think, does it? Maybe Leia's daughter or something. I don't know. Lots of theories going around. Uh, she comes with the gaffy stick looking thing. Um, which you can put in her hand if you're not an idiot, and yeah, it's a rather nice looking thing, um, Indiana Jones shoulder bag goes well, it's a bit weird that the legs do not quite match up to the torso, you can see a bit of blue printing uh, down there, but there's a big gap, and uh, it's a bit confusing, so, but yeah, it's a nice looking figure, and uh, I want to see what her role in, uh, her role is in the movie, amazingly, you also get this new hairpiece, which looks like she's failed to do a ponytail three times, so interesting. Uh, she also comes with double-sided head, so you can make her happy or a bit annoyed. 
Um, also, she comes with a nice hat, which is a new piece. If the brightness will focus on it, there we go. Uh, yeah, very nice looking piece, this. Um, lots of detail, if you can make that out on the goggles, and a little thing on the side, and you can tell just how big my fingers are, that how small this is, so that is some brilliant work, Lego, well done. So yeah, we just put that on her, and there we go. Nice looking figure. Which is nice. Uh, interestingly, I did notice on the box that they have her riding the top of the box like a surfboard. So, not sure why, but maybe that's going to be in the movie. Maybe it's actually Desert Surfs Up. There we go. Force Awakens, everyone. And obviously we get the... I'm consulting the box for this. Unkar Thug. Or Dave, as I'm going to call him. And, uh, yeah, he's nice. Don't know who he is, is the problem. Looking forward to the movie and finding out what's the deal with this guy. Might be related to those people who come with the Millennium Falcon set. I do not know. Um, he comes with a very nice, and as you can tell by the way the light's reflecting on it. Just see if we can get that to focus. There we go. Um, very shiny head. Very shiny head. Um... Interestingly, no human face underneath. I've noticed that from the images I've seen, they haven't done a lot of secondary head with many characters showing, but Lego probably didn't have any idea what they were making. Um, so there we go. Put the little hat on him. And he's nice. He comes with a mossy jacket thing. Which is very lovely. And, of course, golden crowbar. Hey, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Hermits United. Um, comment down below what your thoughts of this set are, and, um, yeah, I sort of tested this out, so it'd be really great to hear some feedback about my reviewing. Uh, also, if you did enjoy listening to my horrible, horrible voice, uh, then why not check out Team Drew, where there are loads of videos, including one of the Cardiff Comic Con that me and Harry Williams recently went to. So yeah, uh, subscribe, like, all that.